و یوم نحشرهم جميعا ثم نقول للذين اشركوا اين شركاؤكم الذين كنتم تزعمون ان جس ريكول جس ايماجين when we shall gather them together all of them the day of judgment they will be standing before us ثم نقول we shall say to them للذين اشركوا to those people who had associated partners or equals with Allah اين شركاؤكم الذين كنتم تزعمون where are the associate boards your associate boards where are they about whom you were asserting there are smaller gods goddesses we pray to them we bow to them we prostrate before them and you know their belief was how lie shufa'una indallah they will be intercessors for us with allah they will plead our case they will be advocates for us that means they believed in allah they believe that the final judgment and verdict will be given by allah only these are the intercessors how la shufa'una indallah na'buduhum li yuqarribuna ila allah zulfa we worship them so that they can take us nearer and nearer and nearer to allah the same thing that we say about the awliya allah what's the difference we praise them we bow before their graves we are you know circumambulating around, around their graves what for we don't think they are allah no they are intercessors with allah they are the beloved of allah allah will accept the recommendation from them and through them they are the wasila through them we can reach allah While we have read the ayah in Surah Al-Maida, what is wasila? Jaidu fi sabili Allah. That is wasila. Your deeds, your actions. Yawman ashraluhum jamiyan summa naqulu liladin ashraku ayna shurakaa kum liladin kum tum tazamun. Where are those your associate block gods? ثم لم تكن فتنتهم الا ان قالوا والله ربنا ما كنا مشركين now there will be no contention with them except that they would say by god by our lord الا ان قالوا والله ربنا by you by allah our lord ما كنا مشركين we were not the associators we were not associating them we did never think that they are equal to you or partner with you انظر كيف كذبوا على انفسهم وضل عنهم ما كانوا يفترون just imagine how they will be belying themselves in this world they are doing this shirk on the day of judgment they will swear by allah we were not doing it وضل عنهم and gone will be the wind all those whom they had associated ma kanu yaftarun what they have concocted they have forged all thing will go with the wind vanish here they think that they will intercede but they are all will disappear no lat no za no balat we thought they will be interceding for us over here we thought they will adv- be advocates for us dallan hum ma kanu yaftarun it was all iftira it was all forgery it was all concoction it was all your creation of your imagination it had no real existence so it will just vanish it will just go with the wind wa min hum man yastamir ilaik and there are among them who will listen to you very attentively wa jalna ala qulubihim akinnatan yafqahu and we have put over their hearts coverings so that they cannot understand it wa fi adanihim waqra and we have put heaviness in their ears implied are the words so that they can't listen kyun why wa yara kull ayatin la yuminu biha and even if say all the signs and miracles that they are demanding they are not going to believe 
حتیٰ جاؤ کا یو جا دل کا یقل الدین کفر اللہ ساتر الولین سو مچ سو دیٹ وین دے کم ٹو یو دے آر گو ون یو اینڈ دے سی دیز ان بلیورس آل دیز آر دی فیبلز آف دی اینشنٹس دی اسٹوریز آف دی اینشنٹس وچ یو آر نریٹنگ ٹو یو ٹو ٹو اس آف جوزف اینڈ اینڈ داؤد اینڈ سلیمان اینڈ یو نو آد اینڈ سبو آل دیز اینشنٹ اسٹوریز Fables of the ancients you are narrating to you. Now what does it mean? I mean, whom my yastame will like? Because we, I, I told you that, you know, there was a hard time for these leaders of the Quraysh also. Because they had to stop the masses, the common people from accepting Islam. Now how to do it? They wanted to pose before them that we are sincere people. We go to Muhammad and we listen to him attentively. But we find there is no essence in it. What he, what he is saying. So they post like this. They acted like it. It was a drama. I mean, whom yes, we will have. But they are determined in their heart that we are not going to accept. And this determination that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is interpreting. We have put covers on their hearts. And we have put heaviness in their ears they can't listen they can't hear and they can't understand because they only pose they only show off to their common people that we are not arrogant we are not unreasonable well we are very much reasonable sincere we want to hear we go to him we listen to him but we find there's nothing in, in what he's saying it is all you know the stories of the ancients he had he had learned from somewhere and you know He wants to impress upon us that he is the messenger of Allah. وَبِنُوا مَنْ يَسْتَمِعُ إِلَيْكَ وَجَعْنَا عَلَىٰ قُلُوبِهِمْ أَكِنَّتَنَا يَفْقَهُوا وَفِي آدَانِ وَقْرَىٰ وَيَرَوْا كُلَّ آيَةِ اللَّا يُمْنِ بُحَىٰ Now this is again directed to Muhammad صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم as well as the Muslims who had thought sometimes maybe that if their demand is met if some clear visible miracle is shown to them what's the harm? Maybe some of them at least they accept islam or if at least they don't accept islam they will have to shut up then they will have to be quiet they won't be able to argue against muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam against islam so if he wants a miracle he claims to be a messenger of allah it's absolutely natural logical we demand a miracle from him and he's not showing it so allah says wa in yara kull ayat illa yu'minu biha o muslims Oh, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Take it for granted. Even if all their demands are met and all the miracles they want to see are shown to them, they are not going to believe. Hatta idha jau ka yu jadiluna ka yakuru nadira kafaru in hadha illa asati ullam waleen. Wa hum yanhauna anhu wa yanhauna an. Naha to stop others, to forbid others. Yanhauna anil munkar, you know. Naha. Wa hum yanhauna an. They want to dissuade, dissuade people from accepting the faith of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. They are forbidding them. Bayan on anhu, and themselves are also holding back. So this is the double role. They also hold them back. They don't want to come forward and accept Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam as messenger of Allah. And they want to stop their people also, their nation also, their men also. If they accept all of them, where will be their chieftainship? Their position will go. Where will their authority rest now? Just you know, as the leaders of the parties, they make sure that our followers don't listen to anybody else. If they listen to other people, well, maybe they are convinced. If they leave us, what about our leadership? What about what are the position that we are occupying today? We are the leaders, so they will take all pains to stop people. Don't don't read such and such books. Don't listen to them. Don't go to the, their meetings. Why? Because they don't want that any harm should come to their positions. Wa hum yanhaun an hu wa yanhaun an. Wa in yohlekuna illa an fusam wa maayya sharoor. But they are not destroying. But themselves. This is the Akhra. In this world, maybe they are very successful. 
اینڈ دے ہیو پٹ محمد ان اے ویری ڈیفیکلٹ پوزیشن صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم دس واز دی دس واز دی کنڈیشن ایٹ دیٹ ٹائم محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم پٹ ان اے ویری ڈیفیکلٹ پوزیشن پیپل ار سینگ بیکاز دیر از این انسیڈنٹ وچ ہیپنڈ ون اف دی کزنز اف دی پروفٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم اینڈ ہی واز اپ ٹل دیٹ ٹائم یو نو ہی واز وتھ دی پروفٹ آل دو ہی از ناٹ فارملی ایکسپٹڈ اسلام But he supported him like Abu Talib. But when you know the Quraysh chieftains, they assembled and they decided we must ask this, you know, from Muhammad. Demand from him, show us a miracle. There was a meeting. They called Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They put the demands. We will find those demands in Surah Tumani Israel. لندو من لك حتى تفجر لنا من الارض ينبوعا او تكون لك جنه من نخيل وعنب فتفجر الانهار خلالها تفجيرا او تسقط السماء كما زعمت علينا كسفا او تاتي بالله والملائكه قبيلا او يكون لك بيت من زخرف او ترقى في السماء السير اوف ديماند يو شو اس ذس يو شو اس ذس اف يو كان شو اس وي شال اكسبت يو وي ار ريدي تو اكسبت But when Muhammad said, well, I can't accede to your demand, it's up to Allah. If he wants, he can show the miracle. It's not in my power that I can show you this miracle. So when the Prophet was coming back from that meeting, that cousin of his said, look, Muhammad, till today I was with you. I was supporting. But now your nation, they have put on you the burden of argument. So this, this incident I have narrated, Imam Razi has narrated the whole incident in his tafsir. Muhammad sallallahu became very sad. And that is, you know, but what I was denoting, he was between the two stones of a grinder. On the one hand, a demand, and even the common people, they also think that this demand is absolutely valid. On the other hand, Allah's decision, no miracle will be shown. The hardship was for Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. 